Hello everybody and welcome to the Violin Intensive at Credo Music. My name is Sippy Bernhardsen and I am Professor of Violin at the Oberlin Conservatory. For today's topic, I want to discuss something that I've been calling the natural born. The more I practice, the more I teach, the more great violins I observe, the more great violins I talk to, I become much more interested in sort of principles of violin playing rather than schools of violin playing. So while all of us have different bodies, you know, if we're born healthy, we all have 10 fingers, we have two wrists, we have elbows, and our arms move similarly. So I want to discuss how we can take advantage of just how our body moves in a natural way and gravity to develop a very comfortable and functional born. Now, almost all of our shaping and phrasing comes from how we use our bow. I would say almost like 98% of our shaping and phrasing comes with how, our use our, how we use our bow. So it's critical that we develop a comfortable, fluid, yet organized bore. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually just how our arm moves naturally. Now, if you put your arm in plain position and move your elbow this way, and now anybody can do this, and even I think a newborn <laughs> can do this, you will see that the fingers and wrists move in a certain way. I'm not making them move. I'm allowed, they just happen to move. Now, if I do this bow motion and I kind of keep my wrist and fingers still, don't allow them to move, you can even see that my tricep here becomes quite tight, which creates tension. But when I allow things to move, where the motion stems from here, things seem to be fluid. Now this translates into the so-called detaché stroke. So when I was doing this, down bow, up bow, down bow, up bow, which in a way I would just consider sort of the perfect bow arm. <laughs> down bow, up bow, if I can do this, then I can do this, then I can play fast, then I can play short, but everything starts from here, from the elbow, and with no action from the upper arm. Now, this then translates into what we call the detaché stroke. So just when I was moving here, it translates here. So if I can do this, then I can use full bow. Nothing is different, except I'm using full bow. So if I'm playing on the string, or if I'm playing off the string, everything looks and feels the same, but just sounds different. So the, the principle that I wanna to talk to, talk about today is that no matter how fast, how slow, how much bow, how little bow, G-string, E-string, frog tip, everything starts from here and your upper arm should always feel and look the same. So if I'm playing, or if I'm playing, looks and feels the same, but it sounds different. So the difference is, is how much bow I use, how fast bow in terms of how we um, how we are shaping and what the music requires us, but the upper arm always feels the same and looks the same. So in order to kind of start achieving that, it's important that we maybe just get comfortable with this and move our arm so we get an idea of how our arm just moves on its own. And then the next thing that I think is critical and important is to start trusting gravity. So I sit on the string, put my bow on the string. Now here, I'm not trying to keep my bow on the string. It just sits on the string comfortably, just like I'm not trying to stand on the ground. I'm just standing. So then my fingers actually feel, everything feels light. My upper arm feels fluid, feels light, right? I can even lift my hands, fingers and wave. Everything is fluid. So then when I move to the lower half, it just sits here, no tension in the upper arm. And then for me, and, if, and for all of us, if we are just sort of allowing gravity to help us, then the frog should feel very light, just sitting here. And then just above the middle, comfortable sitting here, comfortable sitting here, right? So I would recommend if there is some kind of tension that we have in the forearm, is start first by figuring out 
this is how everybody's arms move. Then the next step would be putting your bow on the string and trusting that we will sit here and stay here, that you don't have to hold on to anything. So the three principles of the bow arm that I like to often think about in every stroke, every piece of music that I'm playing, is that you sit on the string comfortably, G string, E string, frog, tip. I sit on the string, I move from here. And the third thing, which is important, is I speak the notes with this finger. And this will also help control the contact point so I don't lose my contact point, point and can play with a straight bow. And then I can speak the notes from here and there's a relationship between the index finger here and my left hand finger. So they speak together. So this is sort of the basics of what I consider the natural bore. No matter how fast or slow you play, everything starts from the elbow. We don't need our upper arm. It should be completely deactivated. We allow our fingers and, and wrists to move naturally. You don't make them. The key word is that you allow. And no matter how fast, how slow, how much bow, how little bow, everything should look and feel the same and everything comes from here. Thank you.